Grade 7 math number 8.4b, angle pairs and one-step equations. See this angle here? The vertex is always the middle letter, so this is angle ABC. We've got A, B, and C, and this is the vertex, so it's the middle letter B, see? This is triangle ABC, and it could be written as a little triangle symbol, triangle ABC. And when we label it, we go clockwise, ABC, or we could go counterclockwise, ABC, that way. As long as we keep going in the same direction, it doesn't matter if we go clockwise or counterclockwise. And that's good for any polygon. As we said in the last video, vertical angles are opposite of each other and they're equal. They're congruent to each other. So these two green angles have the same measure and these two pink angles would have the same measure because they're vertical angles to each other. Adjacent angles share a vertex and a side. They share this vertex and they share this side right here. So these are two adjacent angles. Complementary angles, they total 90 degrees together. And you can see the little box showing it's a right angle and this angle plus this angle would total 90 degrees. Supplementary angles total 180 degrees together. So this angle and this angle would total 180 degrees. And then of course we have our right angle and the little box tells us it's a right angle and it's 90 degrees. Now by knowing these rules, if you can memorize this, that would be great. So you ought to write them down in your notes. By knowing these rules, we could find out all the measures of all of these angles by just knowing one or two measures. And I'll show you. Take a look at this one. We've got a line AD right here. See? AD, that's the line. And we have line BE. It goes all the way across this way. We have line CF going this way. And because of the way they're labeled, we can read the name of the angles, the label of the angles. So this would be angle A, F, B. That would be this angle. This angle right here would be B, F, C. And it's 50 degrees. Angle C, F, D, that's the right angle that's 90 degrees. Angle D, F, E, well, this is vertical to this one. So whatever this angle measures, that's what this angle measures. See? They're opposite each other. They're verticals. So if we find out one of these, we'll know the other one. We'll know the measure of the other one. And then we have angle AFE, and we could say EFA. It doesn't matter. But this angle is a vertical angle to BFD. So if we ignore that line, we can see that these two angles are the same and they're vertical to each other. Whatever this entire measure is right here, and we ignore this line, it's going to equal this measure down here. And we can do that. We can ignore a line when we're measuring angles. See? We can ignore this line and figure out what this entire measure is of these two angles together. See? All right, so because we're given the information that angle BFC, where's BFC? BFC. Because we're given the information that angle BFC is 50 degrees, see, we can determine all the other angle measures just from knowing this and this being a right angle. Angle CFD is a right angle, so it must be 90 degrees. It's got the little box. It must be 90. So even if we didn't have that 90 there, we would know it's a 90 degree angle because of that box. So if we look at this very carefully, see this straight line, this AD right here? Well, do you see what I see? Supplementary angles total 180 degrees together. So if we have 90 and 50, the angle of AFB, this area, would have to help the other two total 180 degrees, wouldn't it? It would create supplementary angles, see? And if you look at this one, 
and I tilt my camera this way, you can see that there's two 90 degree angles. There's one here and there's one here. See? If this line were gone, that's a 90 degree angle and that's a 90 degree angle. So we know that this one and this one together makes a 90 degree angle. All we have to do is subtract the 50 and we know what that one is. So I bet you already know what that one is. And remember what I said? This one's vertical to this one. So whatever this one equals, that's what that one equals. All right, so let's take a look at this one step problem we've got. So we know that angle BFC and CFD total 140 because they're adjacent angles, 90 and 40. They share this line right here, this CF, and together they create this angle right here, see it? That's 140 degrees. Now, we also know that the missing measure of this one would make it total 180. So what we do is, we say the measure of AFB, that's the one that's missing, AFB, plus the 140 degrees equals 180 degrees. Because it would be supplementary then, right? So if we subtract 140 from both sides, like we learned a few videos ago, that would isolate the X. This would create a zero pair, wouldn't it? And we'd eliminate it. And 180 take away 140 is 40. X is 140. X represents angle AFB. So guess what? That means angle AFB is 40 degrees. We know this one is now 40 degrees. And 40 and 50 is 90, and 90 and 90 is 180. So there's our supplementary angle right there. See it? Now, because this one is vertical to this one, they're the same measure. So if this one's 40, that one's got to be 40. Now we know the measure of that one. So what about this angle? Well, if we got rid of this line right here, remember? we would be able to see that this measure right here, this 90 and 50, this 140, would be vertical to the pink angle, to this area, see? So because they're opposite each other and this one totals 140, this one must be 140. If we added all of these up together, it would total 360 degrees like a circle because we would be going around in a circle. We'd have 40, 50, 90, 40, 140, and we would have created a 360 degree circle. See? So let's take a look at this one and let's see if we can figure out what all these missing measures are. Okay? So we've got P, Q, R, S, T, and U. The vertex is going to be U. Well, do you see what I see right away? We've got a 65 degree angle here and a 90 degree angle here. So I wrote those in because those are given. Okay? That's called the given. It's whatever they just gave to us for free. So what could angle Q, U, R be? This one. If that's 90 and that's 65, wouldn't they make a supplementary angle together? 180 degree angle? So what's missing? What measure is missing from 180? Well, 90 and 90 makes 180. So what's missing from this one to make 90? 25 degrees. 65 and 25 is 90 degrees. This 90 and that 90 makes this whole thing here 180 degrees. So we know that QUR is 25 degrees now. Just from doing a little detective work. Okay? So what's SUT? That's this one here. SUT. What is this measure right here? Well, do you see any complementary, supplementary angles, adjacent angles, vertical angles, anything that could help us? What if we were to take this line away? Would SUT be vertical to PUR? Would this measure right here 
be vertical to this measure? Take a look at that. Does it look like they would be opposite each other? Yeah. So 90 and 25 together is SUT. So SUT must be 115 degrees because that's what the 90 and 25 equal. So now we have TUP is left. TUP is the last angle that's left. Do you see any complementary, supplementary, vertical or adjacent angles that'll help us figure out what that one would equal? Well, look at it's a vertical angle to RUS. They're directly across from each other. So if that's 65 degrees, that's its opposite, it would have to be 65 degrees also. Now we've made our complete circle. If we total all of these up, it would equal 360 degrees like a circle. And we've got all our measures. See? And we solved it just like we solved our equations when we isolated the variable and we took 140 away from each side. See? So that's a one-step equation with angle pairs. In 8.4c, we're going to do two-step equations with angle pairs. I hope this was helpful. We're going to keep moving through geometry, and I'll see you next video. Bye!